Most people need to go out to Applebee's on, what is it, Friday? So the appetizers, half off apps. Robert's driving to Sonic to get a, 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 like cup, a, of ice. a cup of cup ice. Of ice. 50 and, cents. And he brings a Mio liquid water enhancer with him so he can put it in his ice. With his girlfriend and that's their date. I mean, going on dates and, you know, going out to dinner and stuff, that's fine. But there's people out there that aren't going on dates. They're not going out to dinner. They're working on what they want in life. And those are the people generally that end up succeeding or getting what they want. Snow cone for thought. Snow cone for thought. It's not always easy, guys. <laughs> Wait, it's the all-time low though? Yeah, 121.2. It was 121.4. That's progress. Look at our house this morning. We got Megan in a nightgown. We got Miley just on her perch over there. Julius, he's yeah. going to daycare today. And then we got a special guest. We got a bodybuilder. Keto Savage. Keto coffee. Starting the day off right. So that's down from 124.8. What's that? 3.6. 3.6 down, pounds down. It's been just over a month. See, like for your body size, that's not bad at all. 3.6 pounds in over a month. So what's interesting is that Robert, he said that I look smaller than he thought I was. So you guys probably think I'm giant. We gotta clean this place up. Yeah, I feel good about that. But 2.8 ketones and 75 blood glucose. That's pretty average for me. And instead of coffee, I've been doing black chai tea with butter and cream and it's delicious. It's like Indian coffee. Look at his ears, I've never seen them like that. I know, that. me neither, I was just about to say I've that. never seen them like that. Progress picks. Coffee, one tablespoon of butter, half a tablespoon MCT oil. My weight. Uh -huh. Ow! He's just nibbling at my leg like a roast. <laughs> my weight was 189, which is down. My ketones. Oh, ketones, 3.6. Blood glucose was like high 60s, I don't remember exactly. And I definitely feel good around that range, like 2.5 to 3.5-ish. Factors that are contributing to the highest ketones I've had is highest percentage calories from fat I've ever done, and calorie deficit. So when I was doing the 4K calorie challenge, I was doing a higher percentage fat. I was doing 85% calories from fat. Eating at so a surplus. So much food, everything like just adds up, even if it's really good keto foods. And then I think the dopest part about eating at a deficit and having 80% of fat is that it's a lot more sustainable. Oh, that's so dope, you're right. That is really dope. Dope. That's what you start doing when you're 29 and the life's just passing you by. You start saying dope a lot more. And guys, big announcement. Okay guys, the reason Robert is here is because we're putting together a course. We, the last three days we've spent filming, filming, editing, all kinds of good stuff, spreadsheets, data. Eating zero calorie cream of wheat. Yeah, making yeah. zero, <laughs> these are bodybuilder recipes. Trying to come up with a name for it, not being successful yet. And in the description, there's a link, enter your email, you get all the updates, you'll be signed up to just see what's happening at all times and know when the course comes out. Yeah. We're gonna do legs today. Oh, I for for totally forgot about that. Yeah, I'm not gonna let it forget. My goal is to make him puke on camera. Here we go. That leg day was brutal. I wasn't prepared, but I finished strong. And that's all that matters, one, I think. One word to describe your legs. Beef gelatin. <laughs> that's two words. But we are at Costco right now. What? Oh Whoa. my goodness. Oh my grace. Like having him in our house has just been like, we got a bodybuilder walking around, guys. 
We always had one, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Now that I've lived with an actual one and seen his techniques, Robert, Matt just is on my level. Like me and Matt are the same person. Yeah, I'm closer to you than I am to Yeah, Robert. Matt's, Matt's closer, <laughs> way closer to me. We are getting some good old kielbasas. The beef ones are Matt's favorite and the roasted garlic are mine. And then Robert got some steaks for himself. We can't eat them though. But I'm still feeling empty. That far away feeling. Playing hide and seek, yeah. I don't know what I'm seeking. Monte Carlo creaking. Loud pet reeking. This is a soy egg. Take a bite, show them what's up. It's been marinating in soy sauce and a few other seasonings for like 36 hours now. Three days. Three hours. It's amazing. So we're back from the gym. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be doing two meals today probably, definitely, because that's all the calories I have. So my calories today are 1980. And my macros are gonna be 180 grams of fat, 80 grams of protein, and 10 grams of carbs. With my Bulletproof coffee, it's gonna be almost half my total calories for the day so far. So this is five ounces of local Savannah sausages is basically what I've been having every day. And then sous vide eggs on top, two of them. We've been sous vide every single thing. Yeah. Next is Miley. And then I have a coffee. I haven't added the fats to it yet, but I'm gonna do one tablespoon of butter and a half a tablespoon of MCT oil. I'm steeping chai tea. I've been doing um, black chai tea instead of coffee, and I'm gonna attempt to turn the hot liquid into like a cold type of slushy because I'm about to head out and I want something to drink with me, so there's gonna be two tablespoons of heavy cream in that. And then my snack, I'm trying to eat as little as possible, but filling is in hard boiled egg. These are the best. You should always have these in your fridge. And then these, this is an ounce of pepperoni and it's filled with goat cheese. Then we got Mr. Calorie Man over here. Yeah. Mm. Can eat as much as he wants. I'm having one of my keto bricks. It's a thousand calories, 90 grams of fat, shelf stable. Let me take a bite up so I can show you the consistency. Yeah. Whoa. So good. It's like a coffee mocha. These will be launching soon. He's been eating one of these a day. It has I like all- what I preach. Now I'm gonna run errands after I eat, and the boys are gonna do some course stuff. Don't show them, we've been brainstorming stuff. I am out shopping for some hunger hack recipes. So basically zero calorie foods that I can eat to make me feel full. Matt and I can eat. Let's see what they got. Whole foods. All they have is the dressings, but we're looking for Syrups and pasta sauce. Ugh. I went to six grocery stores. We need it for our hunger hacks part of the course. And for our entire rest of our prep. And for the rest of our lives, actually. Yeah. We so we filmed a couple of the hunger hacks videos yesterday and they're really good and like I feel like it's something I'm gonna incorporate in more of my daily routines. Yeah. I'm really running out of steam though. We've been going super hard gym nonstop working for like the past three days. Three days. But we've been going like 10, 15 million times as hard in the gym. Mm -hmm. I was so exhausted after legs. Like I was gonna go to sleep in the car on the way to Costco. The nice thing about it though is I'm not having any trouble with the calories right now just because of all the work we're doing. Getting to know Robert a little better, like he's so unwilling to compromise for the sake of, like I was, we've been going through the spreadsheet and there's so many times when I'm like some guy who's just trying to sell something we're just like, you know, do a shortcut right here and be like, apply this to everyone. But he's very much about like tailoring it specifically, capturing every scenario possible. Basically just no shortcuts. Pepperonis. Julius's favorite food is probably pepperonis. Probably paperonis. He's a shredder. Skateboarding. Pleasantly surprised at how thick these are. Dinner time. We're savages, look at us. Are you gonna remember who's is who's? Yeah, I'm not dumb. Okay. I'm having a pre-dinner appetizer with this roasted kale. This is where Robert's living right now. We got an air mattress. He's sitting at the desk. I've been waiting all day for this. It's like 900 calorie dinner here. Um, this is one ounce of pilly nuts. And then this is six ounces of sausage. I'm really living the sausage life over here. This is like two and a half for me today. Then I have two eggs 
and one tablespoon of butter. And I have six ounces of sausage as well. It's really good, we get it at Costco. There's two tablespoons of sour cream. There's two eggs that are over easy underneath and then collards with some sour cream mixed into that. And I thought while we got Robert here, we could talk about some cool stuff and get his take on one of the most commonly asked questions on our channel. If you have a lot of body fat to lose, you don't need to eat a lot of fat because your body will use its body fat. I've definitely come around to the conclusion that just keeping fat high in pretty much all contexts is good. With higher fat, I just feel so much better. So if I'm productive, I'm more likely to go to the gym. I'm more likely to just do things that are overall better for my health. All right, so I've got a theory on this and I've tested this amongst my larger clients and it seems to work. If you're not in ketosis and you get keto adapted, before you can drop your fat, you need to evolve basically so that your body can efficiently use the fat that you've stored. And the best way to jumpstart that process is to have a high fat ratio so that what you're ingesting is kind of like forced to become your fuel source. And once you do that for long enough, your body becomes incredibly efficient. You're gonna be able to tap into your stored body fat more efficiently. If you jump straight to like a really lower fat intake, your body's not really gonna know how to tap into that. So give your body a high fat ratio, let it become adapted to using it so that it can efficiently tap into your stored fat. But fat and protein is definitely like a cool thing and one of the, one of the biggest things you can experiment with when you're doing keto. Like figuring that out for yourself is definitely a valuable piece of information going forward. You remember your last incident with Walden Farms? It was puke. So they have a peanut butter and it tastes like queso. Just finished my dinner. Oh, I found a sick and spicy barbecue sauce. Bring it. Okay, so let's just see what kind of selection we got. This one scares me for sure. Alfredo sauce. And guys, all of these are zero calories. Relatively high chemical as in entirely composed of chemical. If you guys have like a favorite Walden Farm product, let us know. And if it's the peanut butter, unsubscribe. <laughs> if it's the peanut butter, just also comment what your favorite food is because I'm curious what kind of a person you are. Just give us all, write us an email with all the dates. Yeah, just give us your family history, like... I'm in. I am into that. Whoa, that is so sweet. I think you Robert like said that. Yeah, I'm eating that. <laughs> I guess we can do the Alfredo sauce. This one I am just deathly afraid of. Oh my goodness. Apparently it doesn't taste that great, but when it's like put on stuff, Matt's so nervous. Look at it, look at the camera. I you're am like, nervous. You're like red. I cannot believe they have the, the audacity to sell this as a food Alfredo product. Alfredo sauce. They sell this as food, guys. Like, they, they're all sitting down at a round table. They're like dipping in. They're like, okay. The first thing that comes to mind is Alfredo sauce. <laughs> yeah. I might just eat the rest of this caramel sauce tonight, though. What's that? Syrup? Syrup's supposed to be the best. Let's do that last. Now, I like me some barbecue sauce. Super watered down and watery, but not no, bad. No, not bad. Not bad at all. And it's their thick one, so if we got the original, it would just be water. Pancake syrup. This, everyone is a fan. This is a fan favorite of most people's. And Mega Ooh, loves herself maple some maple syrup. It's like one of my, it's my favorite food. It's Miley's too. That is phenomenal. It's not phenomenal. Is it better than the caramel? It tastes like the caramel. It does. But yeah, I'm eating it for shell. It's zero calorie, zero carb, if you guys are wondering. Vegetable fiber, but there's no fiber on the label, so that tells you that like, this is almost entirely water, because the second highest ingredient doesn't even make the label. So then there's salt, and then xanthan gum, and then sucralose. They do go pretty hard with the sweetener, I would say. Yeah. Let me just, let me, if I just go like big scoop, how am I gonna feel about this? Yeah, I'm gonna be doing this pretty regularly, I think. Did you hear what just happened in the bathroom? You set off a poop bomb? Did you hear it, really? No. Because that did happen because of the xanthan gum in those Walden Farms products. She went to the bathroom and I had like a lot of it. I had like three scoops of each. You just had a diarrhea bomb? Yeah. I'm so mad I left the room. I was like, oh, I just pooped my nuggets, I'll leave. <laughs> That's are Walden gonna, Farms, guys. Are you gonna keep eating it? Yeah, of course, it's delicious. We haven't shown him Julius at all today. He just got back from daycare. Look how tired he is after daycare. He's ready for bed. Nerd alert.
talking about candies like runts, nerds. Yeah, I like all those. Those are good. You like cowtails too, don't you? Oh, I love cowtails. Those are the worst. Four for a dollar. Those are the worst candy ever. Yeah. Oh, this is about to die on battery. Okay, what are you ending with? Thanks for joining us. Here's M Dog. <laughs>